This is Keith Lobo reporting live for British Asian News. We're here with Dr. Kamal Hoti, OBE. Why are you here today? Well, Anita kindly invited me to be part of the book and Thanks. she wanted my story within the book. So I'm really humbled that she felt that my story was worth including. Um, I was born in Punjab. Um, my family came from Punjab and been here in the UK. So she wanted to tell my story. And do you, on the paper, the words that were written, what are the most inspirational words that spoke out to you from that book? For me, it's a reminder of where you come from. Um, you know, uh, it reminds me of the, the partition of India, Pakistan, what we had to go through. It reminds me of my father building the biggest bucket of dam in India and his story he used to tell us all the time. It was a story of coming here in the UK, facing the racism, the crisis in the 60s, the, the challenges we all faced. It reminded me of how my brothers cut their hair, took their turbans off in order to integrate. Um, and it reminded me of the roles as a woman we have to play. You know, one side in my generation, my first point of call was to get married and care for my in-laws, be a dutiful wife. Um, and on the other hand, I got a role in a bank, started as a cashier, worked my way up, then having an exec director role in the end now, working with Her Majesty Queen. So you, you've actually met the Queen? Yes, I have. No. So actually, I actually do her, I'm a special advisor on her foundation with Prince Harry. Really? Yes, yeah, so working across 53 countries. Wow. So when, when he went to Africa recently, that was our project that he's doing. Okay. Um, I'm also an ambassador for Alzheimer's Society, which is really close to my heart. Dementia is the biggest so, killer globally. So, so Alzheimer's and dementia is a big thing, hot topic at the moment because we have an aging population. Absolutely. Um, what have you been doing towards it? So um, I um, took on Alzheimer's Society as our charity of the year when I was in the bank uh, as our charity partnership. Okay. So I really designed, um, helped them to design a partnership approach. So we designed the Dementia Friends Program, okay. which is to raise the profile of dementia. Okay. Um, so we've got three and a half million people now trained on this. You've got three and a half million, million people, people trained on what dementia is about. Really? But so now what I'm trying to help with Alzheimer's is really yeah. how do we reach out to the ethnic minority community? Okay. So spoken on various TV channels, okay. especially in our community, okay. because we haven't even got a word for dementia. Oh my God. And yet, and we don't talk about mental health. It's no, not at subject. all. Of course it is. And we only have one, Sada Yogi. Yeah. Sada Yogi. Yeah. It's how do we bring this out, taboo subject out in the open? Okay. So my passion is let's talk about it. Okay. Let's understand it. Okay. And let's be compassionate and understand where we need to go because the world, we're living longer, so you're getting dementia for a longer time. And so how do you identify somebody, your loved one, who's got dementia? But more importantly, the person who's caring for somebody who's got dementia. They are going through just as much mental strain looking after somebody, especially if you're a daughter-in-law, looking after your in-laws who have dementia. It is such a challenge to be recognized, to understand how pressurizing it is to look after somebody. So I hope I can raise the subject, get people to talk about it, to understand it, and as a community, what we need to do more. This is Keith Lobo signing out for British Asian News.